Hey everyone, Guardian E here with a recap and reaction video to the live stream for the Chinese fourth year anniversary for Azure Lane that's on bilibili.com. So we'll be starting in just a few minutes. The live stream is about to start. It's 7 a.m. my time, so it's it's pretty early, but we did get up for it and we're going to just react to everything that happens, the news that gets dropped and the uh, the event that's upcoming. So hope you all are excited because I certainly am. Now, I won't understand what's being said, and I won't have a live translation going on at the same time or anything, but usually we do a pretty good job of deciphering what's going on. So, let's jump in together, shall we? Alright, let's get this party started. Countdown is over. Okay. 30 minutes, or 31 minutes in. That's the count for, uh, I'm guessing the brand new ship. Which is, oh... <laughs> Never mind then. Oh, this is a this is a cute little introduction to the, I guess the hosts of the stream and the different guests that are appearing. They're they're pulling for them. I wonder if the build times have any significance. Now this is actually my first time watching one of the Chinese streams uh, live, so it's obviously different different breed, different format from the Japanese ones. Okay. Oh my god, that manju. Holy crap. <laughs> He's talking. That's awesome. I like that little cushion on the table too. It's very cute. So the new the new age of VTubers are here. It's it's all about the the, <laughs> the giant manju VTubers <laughs> with the meme glasses. Yeah, I'm also just curious, just because the Japanese streams usually have so much theatricality, they usually last a, a really long time, like a couple of hours at least, so I'm curious curious if this is going to follow suit, um, again, just because I haven't watched one of these live before. I like the cathedral setting at night, it's really pretty, I wonder if that's going to be thematically in line with uh, the, the story at all. Oh, greeting from the artists. Aww... Look at these panels, they're so pretty. And then the little Manju, uh, the Manju plushie too. Oh, these are awesome. I wonder if they, uh, are giving any of these away, or if they're just gonna be hanging up in the, <laughs> in the Manju headquarters. Okay, so I, I'm guessing this is gonna be the trailer for the event. Oh no, it's VTuber Akashi. I don't trust you, Akashi. You're after our gems, and our cubes, and our coins. Oh, I can't stay mad. <laughs> She's asking us why. I don't... <laughs> Pouty Tantrum Akashi. Something we all needed, I guess. Yo, she is going nuts. <laughs> she is... Oh, I wish I could understand. <laughs> Bye-bye, <laughs> Akashi. Wish I could understand you. Oh, okay. So this is going to be an anniversary... Oh. Okay, hey! That ain't bad. 20 cubes, 15,000 coins, 10 drills, 4 skill books. I wonder if this is going to be a social media thing, or if this really is going to be something exclusive to the Chinese server. It's it's possible. All right, review 2020. I always like it when they do this uh, recap of. I'm I'm guessing in game like milestones like number of ships maybe number of looks like ex lines maybe number of retrofits or something. I I don't I don't know unfortunately. Oh wow, I don't know what that is. Is that like the number of sorties or something? Or maybe the number of poles? Maybe I can use Google Translate to uh, just like figure it out here live while it's while it's actually open. Top three. So are these the top three built PR ships then? Cheshire, Drake, and Champagne for the past year, I guess. Not sure. I'm still going to capture each of the statistics, just in case you want to go back and translate each of them. So unfortunately I failed at translating these live, but um, 
I'll, I'll keep each of the statistics in just in case you want to go back and, and translate them each independently. But, I mean, they're just running through the statistics of the server. Uh, they're obviously celebrating the anniversary. It makes a lot of sense to just kind of go over and, and recap what they've accomplished over the past year, what we've accomplished as a community over the past year, and just celebrate it. And the anniversary is a time for celebration and reflecting and, and looking forward to the future. So, and uh, as part of looking forward to the future, you got to look at where you came from. And so... Uh, getting this nice little recap of what, what's transpired over the past year is always a nice, it's always a nice reminder of how far we've come. Oh, are these going to be the top 10 skins? Uh, oh, um, I mean, top 10 skins? Okay. Wow, they're like blitzing through these. I have, <laughs> there's Kashino, there's Cheshire, okay. Ah, Amagi. Ooh, that's St. Louis, absolutely beautiful. Oh, of course. We're getting okay. Right, and Rishal you, wow, number one is Rishal you. I didn't expect that, but I mean that's an absolutely gorgeous skin as well. I have most of those. <laughs> I think the only one I don't have out of that entire batch was Lemalin. Uh, so, good taste, uh, all of you <laughs> on the Chinese server for people that that purchased those skins, because uh, each one of those is a hundred percent worth it. Okay, so this looks like the top ten oathed ships then. So. Cheshire, Richelieu, Enterprise, FDG, Aurora, Aurora, interesting, San Diego, Z23, Shinano, Unicorn, and Laffy. I'm surprised, some of these picks I'm definitely surprised by. I wasn't expecting, I didn't know Aurora was that popular. Uh, the others kind of make sense to me, although I think uh, Unicorn's usually on top, so I, maybe Laffy usurped her in the, recently, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, here's another top 10 list. Are these another set of oaths? I'm not entirely sure, but these aren't translated, so I can't read through them. I don't, I don't know, I don't know who they are. I don't know, are these the top 10 used ships? Now loading. Aww. These aren't loading screens that we have, so this is just some some cute art that they're showing off. Wow, that those sunglasses are really reflective. Okay, here here is going to be the new event that is going to start on the 27th. As we knew, we knew already because phase one ended on the 26th, I believe, right? So then the 27th would start phase two uh, of the new event. Phase one being the prep, phase two being the actual event proper. So, oh, look at this. So they're gonna redesign the whole academy for for a period of time maybe is that is that what this is <clears throat> it's so festive it's got like nutcrackers and cats <laughs> and it, it has a real like f I, I don't know like a wonderland fairy tale kind of appeal to it it's very interesting okay so it looks like maybe gem sales and then they're going to go into the actual event that is starting on the 27th until the 17th of June. And then there is Commander Call of Duty. I don't know what that thing is on the right. Okay, so I'm guessing these skins are going to be returning. We've got Hermione, as well as Ayanami. We've got Baltimore. We have Unicorn and Noshiro in the back there. So the it's nice. It's a nice medley of skins. Some of them the Evening Gown Anniversary skins that we know and love. Hermione is a little bit out of left field. In a, in a nurse costume, or nurse outfit, I guess, and she is actually acting as a nurse here um, on the left. But I guess that's the only skin that she has, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, and these different, uh, these different dorm skins are also making a return, so they're all going to be available for, uh, for everybody to, to purchase. Oh, there's going to be a little mini game. I don't know if they're doing this for the stream as like a transition, or if it's like actually something we're going to get for the <laughs> for their anniversary. Uh, I mean, it looks like it might be. Maybe it's just a, it looks like it maybe a tap game. Yeah, it's going to be a new activity that's going to drop. Now, of course, this is all for the Chinese anniversary, the Chinese server anniversary. Generally speaking, most of the stuff ends up transferring to both to all across all servers, so the Japanese and the and the English version are probably going to get the same most of the same treatment, if not all of the same treatment, so, um, which is really primarily why we're we're so interested, just because um, if they're if they're celebrating on one server, usually everybody gets the goodies, but um, but there could be some exclusive stuff, so just bear that in mind, I suppose. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why they're zooming in on this manga. Oh, there's gonna be like a shop. 
Okay, so there's going to be like a trade shop where you gather these tickets and you can exchange those tickets for a variety of items here. None of the items looked that exciting, really. Um, uh, except for the, the three at the bottom, which look to be exclusive. So there's like a token. Um, maybe that's a, an equipment piece that, that you can use. Uh, there's going to be a chat frame and it looks like there's actually going to be a, uh, a chat icon as well. Not sure how you'll get those tickets. It might be through that activity that they just showed. If you do that activity every day, maybe they'll drop a bunch of tickets for you to use in that exchange shop. All right, so we are getting more information on the new event. That's pretty cool up there. Is that the fractured sea? Like quite literally fracturing the sea. Oh, and I guess off to the right too. There's definitely some, some glass break in there. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the Eagle Union to get kind of a boost as far as overall efficacy. Um, just because a lot of the other factions have really cohesive and synergistic skills that, that we don't see as much on Eagle Union. Because Eagle Union hasn't had like a major event in a really long time. Um, okay, so they are starting to reveal the different ships. Okay, so uh, Boise here is going to be an elite on the server. So a purple ship, of course. Uh, we, we did get her reveal um, not too long ago from the Twitter, but she's got like this cyber ninja bunny look. It's very sleek, very cute. Uh, the artist is the same artist as Hermione. Bring some uh, some substantial hips and thighs along with her. Um, and I, I really adore the, the color of her hair, that like futuristic turquoise. It's just really flattering, matches her ears. And she also has, in addition to the long flowing hair, has the side braid. Pretty neat. Uh, Morrison. Okay, another. Dis this is going to be a fresh reveal. We haven't seen her before. She looks very prim and proper, like very like a very smart looking uniform. Uh, I, I like the candy that's kind of flying up, the giant teddy bear stand behind her, and look at the little teddy bear with the angry eyes in front of her. That's so cute. That's pretty good. I like it. I'm guessing she is also going to be an elite, but it doesn't say specifically here but I, I think probably i mean that bear is just awesome the, the bear has arm cannons too if you notice okay ticonderoga all right so um this was part of the leak so we did kind of see her being revealed uh, she looks great i mean she looks uh, people have likened her to essex a lot and i definitely definitely see that although to me she has a little bit more of a mature air to her I dig the red, white, and blue streamers that are going on around her. Obviously, the, the signature eagle that's up there. Her uniform is very tight, short, and stylish. Uh, have some hip openings on the side there. It's sleeveless. Uh, and then, of course, she has a jacket kind of flowing off of her shoulders, which does seem to be a common uh, theme across the Eagle Union ships. Here is going to be San Francisco, another one of the SR, so a gold ship. She's a heavy cruiser. She was actually the first ship, I think, revealed. I love the bat <laughs> with the wrapping on it. It has like a dangerous edge. The uh, asymmetrical tights that she has on with the highlights of the pink on her, on her uh, shoes, the rigging, the tights themselves, and even in her hair, she has that pink streak, which is really cool. Uh, she is a little bit more of a sporty design with the open track suit and the pins, the like flashy pins on the side. And uh, I like the little kind of hair horns that she's got going on. Kind of cute. I like it. Archerfish uh, is going to, this is a new reveal. She's going to be a submarine. She's got kind of a, a cheeky look on her face. Kind of a, a sly smile. As she's uh she's cruising on that sub. I like the kind of summary look to her. Okay, and here is the big the big deal of uh, the New Jersey being revealed. I look at that enormous rigging. It's just immediately striking how huge it is. She has like a halo of electrical energy behind her. I, I certainly she bears a resemblance to Cosmos with that headgear. Uh, maybe a bunny Cosmos because she has kind of bunny ears alongside it, but. I mean, hey, I, I love me some Cosmos, so, I mean, I, I do like New Jersey's design overall. I like the dark skin type bodysuit as well. I mean, you can see the soft striation of the thin fabric as it kind of clings to her. Uh, the giant elaborate uh, coat that's hanging off of her shoulders is super cool as well. Again, a, a, a hallmark of the Eagle Union these days, I would say. Uh, flowing, beautiful flowing azure hair. Uh, even the coat design itself has like this this interesting like stripes of this iridescent blue. Okay, who is this new character? She looks she looks beautiful. Uh, obviously, Eagle Union base. She has an eagle up top. She has this a beautiful spread of wings behind her. She has a giant intimidating bow 
with uh, like an energy arrow. Uh, she's also got kind of the futuristic bodysuit look, uh, similar to New Jersey. But I love how dynamic this art is. You have like the the waves, the water kind of parting underneath her from the energy and the force of shooting the arrow. Her her like her hair is just kind of flying and and swirling in the air from the from the torrent of energy as well. All right, here's another character that they're not yet ready to reveal yet. I guess so. We're getting a silhouette. She looks. Oh wait, what? Wait, <laughs> that was so weird. Oh, is this this is Baby Enterprise? This is definitely Baby Enterprise for sure. Okay. All right, I know people are going to be happy about that. They they like their their baby versions of ships. I I'm a little I'm going to be honest. I'm a little lukewarm about it. Um, they're a little hit or miss for me, but I know a lot of people are going to be excited for uh, for Baby Enterprise. So that's it's definitely a worthwhile addition for the anniversary. Oh wow, look at this skin! Oh my god, New Jersey doing a little pole dancing in that very suggestive uh, pose. For sure, we're getting some bunny suits for the Eagle Union. Uh, after much, after waiting forever for uh, for some bunny suits, we're getting, and not just like traditional, they're like very fun in design, funny bunny. Uh, this is going to be San Francisco. I mean, they're, they're just more eclectic and more eccentric and definitely captures, I, I guess, just more diverse overall. Um, this is probably one of the more traditional uh, bunny suit designs out of all of them so far, but I mean, I think I mean I like that they've kind of taken given them a, a little bit of a twist uh, for the most part. Uh, she is munching on some watermelon and <laughs> the giant bear behind. Oh man, reclining on the couch. Oh, these are super. Oh, this is all oh, that's super cute. That one's really nice too. Wow, they're they they're really busting out the bunny skins. So. The, the big question, of course, is whether or not they're going to do one for North Carolina and Washington. And I don't know. Wow, okay. Token and Ghost. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it would be. I guess it would be a little out of character for her to be a bunny. She's more of a casino dealer. Um, I, I mean, I just like how diverse the actual bunny outfits are. Like, Okay, so Boise's going to be live 2D. Alright, that's great. And she's she's still hiding her face. Uh, okay, and also we're going to get live 2D for is this is this Sumner? I actually can't tell. I think that's Sumner. Man, she made a mess. But that's gonna be for make that's gonna make for a fun live 2D. You can just imagine the drinks kind of flying in the air and stuff like that. All right, so there is going to be a dorm furniture set as well. Looks like the theme is going to be kind of a casino nightclub with a with a bunny twist to it. Uh, I, I like the style of it, honestly. I think it looks pretty nice. So, of course, they didn't reveal a North Carolina and Washington skin, which I know people are going to be bummed out about. At the same time, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that they might be saving it. They know that people really want it, and maybe they're saving it for one of the other anniversaries that are incoming. It uh, looks like we are also getting some... Is this probably weapon skin? Uh, weapon skin boxes? That's what they usually end up doing. I really hope that they have the weapon skin boxes be drops from the actual maps as well as the shop, just because it's a huge burden to try to get them from the shop. Like, the, the actual gotcha in this game is the weapon skin boxes. <laughs> wait, wait, are there more skins? Why wouldn't they just reveal them all at once? They, they're saying new skins here. I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, so these are going to be more gown skins, I guess, for, for uh, some of the ships that aren't featured in the actual event itself. Oh, this is really pretty. I like. I always like it when you can see other ship girls in the back. That's always nice. Wow, they're bringing out more live 2Ds too. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this one. Just, you can just imagine, again, you can imagine from the live 2D her kind of strutting down the staircase as well. Oh, it's Black Prince. This one's really cute. Pop the cork. Okay. Celebrating. Like the pink balloons in the back too. Look at that floofy tail. She's going to get her dress all wrinkled back there. Uh, this one's super cute. This one is is very cute. She's she's taken the crown and the throne apparently. <laughs> look at that smorgasbord around her too. Oh wh wow! Look at this one. Look at the dragon in the back, the skeletal dragon, and then uh, hood. Okay, hood's getting another skin. I always like to see hood get some love. Looking like an elegant, classy lady as usual. And oh, is that is that Hermione? Her dress design is very striking. The black and the white together it almost looks like... Oh, is that... Oh, is that formidable? 
Oh man, that that last skin was beautiful. Again, I like I like that they're integrating other ships into the uh, into the skins for the the well the primary ship. That's really cool. I like that. So now it makes sense why they split the skins up. The first set of skins was like on theme for the event. The second set of skins was on theme for the anniversary, um, which is going to start on the third, I guess, of June. That's like when the actual anniversary starts. And then fourth anniversary activity. Uh, I guess this is going to be, is it going to be a selection or, so I'm guessing this is going to be an in-game item and it might give you a selection of a, of a, of a ship potentially. That's what they've traditionally done, but I'm not really sure. Um, you would think that they would have revealed it already, like who's involved, but, um, I love this skin for New Jersey. I think it's awesome. I just wish it was live 2D. Like, can you imagine how amazing it would be seeing her swing on the pole in live 2D? That would be so cool. I love the little rocker manju down there, too. There's just, like, so much style. Um, I think thematically, I love the theme. Like, the casino, the nightlife, the nightclub. It's high class, fun, nightlife, provocative. And you get this, like, nice medley of, of quote-unquote bunny suits or bunny outfits that really fit the personality of the characters. Like San Francisco here with, like, I, the less traditional kind of almost uh, a little bit more of a jester aesthetic uh, tied to it a bit. Um, this, I, for, I already forget her name. Was it Morrison? Was she Morrison? No, she was the submarine, I think. Um, and then, uh, and she's Morrison, I, th I, I can't remember. They just revealed the name, so I, I can't remember, but... I just think they struck a nice balance here with the medley. And again, I do lament the fact that we don't have North Carolina or Washington rocking any level of bunny suit here. But I, I again, I have a sneaking suspicion, and a lot of other people have mentioned this in, in the comments, that um, maybe they're saving it just like they saved the Amagi swimsuit skin for the English server's anniversary. Maybe they're doing the same deal here for North Carolina and for Washington. Although I will say that North Carolina and Washington, I mean, I... I I don't think it's exclusive to the English server where they've they've been wanting the bunny suits, but I mean, it's fine. Even so, um, <laughs> I I love like the over the overdosing of the pink, like even just the colors here. I can imagine that she's going to be doing karaoke, I guess, uh, or or something like that. And like I said, you know, this skin is going to be fun. It's going to, there's going to be just an explosion of drinks and. <laughs> And just a, a lot of dynamic movement there, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a treat, I'm sure. And this is the Manju CEO, right? So I guess we're getting some. I don't know if it's final words or just some words from her. I have to say that the the Manju slash like hamster hybrid <laughs> that's there, it's a little uncanny valley-ish because you see like the. It almost looks like he's sweating because because of the shininess of the skin. I, I don't know. It's a little. It, it's almost a little bit. It's almost a little bit too real. Like, is is this real life? Uh, lucky draw. So they mentioned the lucky draw before, but I guess they didn't show anything more. So, oh, is this a lucky draw from the chat? Is that what? Maybe that's what they were referring to the whole time. So. Oh my God! Look at all of those manju and those little chibi heads. That's amazing. That's amazing. They need to add more of those to the actual English global store. No, <laughs> oh, they have little manju mobiles. <laughs> They're cute. They're cute little things. All right, and showing off again some of the anniversary skins. Getting another look at them. I mean, I always, I always appreciate the the like evening gown skins in, in general. Uh, again, this one's live 2D, which is kind of a surprise to me. Um, but I, I, I'm sure it's going to look fantastic. Uh, pop the cork. Very nice. Gotta love it. And again, that skeletal dragon in the back. So cool. Such a neat design. Such a neat effect. I, I really like the painterly style of this hood skin too. It's just, uh, I don't know, very, very light. And Hermione with the sun streaming in from the window. For, there's something very striking about this dress. I think it kind of almost looks like casual workout gear, but it's like mixed with a medley of like her, her actual gown. This one is beautiful. Uh, I don't, she's still getting fitted, of course, but she looks fantastic. That's so good. Okay, so this is, I guess, another part of the fourth anniversary starting on the 10th of June. Remember the skins drop, I think, on the 3rd of June. So this is going to be on the 10th of June. Um, just to keep all of our 
our time straight, our timeline straight. The actual event, the new Equal Union event, is starting on the 27th of May. And then June 3rd, I believe, is when the anniversary officially starts with those skins, the anniversary skins dropping. And now there's going to be something on the 10th of June. Um, oh, more skins, I guess. Wait, why would they... Wait, why are they... Wait, wait, what? Why are they skipping all over the... Why would you not... Why would you not f freeze frame on... Well, okay, so there was a silhouette... I'm, I'm, I, I couldn't tell exactly because it moved too quickly. I think the first one was Ark Royal. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it looked like maybe there was Azuma later. I, I couldn't tell who that was that was crouched there. Um, there's going to be a double promise ring pack. That's, that's all well and good. Why would they <laughs> go back? Go back. I want to see the skins that are revealed. Are those Oath skins? I couldn't. I'm not entirely... Oh, here we go. Okay, thank you. All right. So, yeah, I think... Is this... This looks like Ark Royal to me. Oh, maybe they just showed it by... Maybe they accidentally showed it. So, is this... Okay, so this looks like... That looks like Belfast to me. That silhouette. I don't know. Oh, and is this Azuma? It looks like Azuma. So, is this an Azuma wedding gown? <laughs> he looks very pleased with himself. I... I. That's what it... Yeah, I mean, I think that... That's awesome if so. That's great. Oh, new meta character. Wow. So I thought, I thought we were going to be getting a meta. I, I was, I thought we might get the meta next meta reveal today. I, I wanted to say that earlier. And I just forgot because we only have like 10 days left of Ark Royal meta. Um, but I thought we were going to get one of the already revealed meta ships as available. This is a brand new meta ship. And is it, is it Helena? I'm not entirely sure. It kind of looks like Helena to me, but I can't read the I can't read the script there, so I don't actually know. Um, I I really really love the uh, well the black leggings are really cool. I love how the rigging kind of fades into this like black and like shatter effect at the end with the with the the azure. It's really neat. I wonder what her weapon effects are going to be like. Like I hope they mirror that whole like shatter effect, like whatever her skills are and the actual weapon effects. Uh, and her, yeah, her skills and everything, that, that'd be really cool. I was, I was not expecting the reveal of a new meta ship. I was expecting them to confirm that one of the existing ships was going to be the next meta ship. That's pretty exciting. So that is going to be on, well, it's going to be whenever this current, uh, the Ark Royal meta leaves, which again is like 10 or 11 days or, or whatever it is. All right, something else is coming soon. Some sort of a quality of life update pertaining to, uh, I guess, ambushes. I don't know exactly, so it's it just says system optimization, uh, and and that's all I can tell. <laughs> okay, more system optimization stuff. I can't really tell anything different about this screen, so I don't know if there's if they're revealing something here. I mean, it's thirteen four, huh? So that's gonna yield new missions, I guess, for some oil and core data. I mean, more missions that drop oil is always a good thing as far as I'm concerned, so... New system. So these are both older free skins that you could get uh, through mini events. So I'm wondering if the new system means that you can, like, you can actually run these at your leisure? Like, they'll get added to a separate archive of some kind? I don't know. Because it, it says new system. I mean, obviously, if, if they were just coming back, I think I don't think they would call it a new system, but I'm not, I, I'm not sure. At the very least, it looks like these are returning, and whether they're returning like permanently in some sort of a new archive system, or if they're just returning in general. Um, either way, they're both pretty nice free skins. So, okay, so this might be more passive upgrades to the Cattery potentially for the Meow officers. Um, certainly looks like it. Okay, and now there's a question and answer portion. I guess maybe uh, they'll be taking some taking some questions from the actual chat and answering them. Or maybe they already took questions from from before and are answering them here. Uh, so I guess while they're answering questions, we can recap a little bit of, of what was revealed. So naturally, we are getting the next Eagle Union event on the 27th. I didn't catch the name of it, but I will get that before, before putting this video out, and I'll make sure to have that uh, available. But pretty exciting. We actually, again, got most of the ship, ship designs leaked. There were a couple of surprises, though, some pretty nice ones, too. Uh, I'm... Me personally, out of the default batch, I think I'm most excited about New Jersey and Boise. I really do like the design of both New Jersey and Boise. I think they look pretty great. 
I like I really do like the cosmetic design um, or the cosmetic theme as well of this like casino, the bunny suits, the nightclub type look. I think New Jersey looks fantastic in her skin, absolutely glorious. Uh, I just wish it were live 2D. I mean, thinking about it though, it would be a Herculean task to uh, give that kind of a skin justice as far as animations are concerned because she's she's basically pole dancing so how, how are you gonna do that with a static you, you basically have to i mean draw all angles of her and i mean that's just that's that's maybe that's a bit too much to ask but she looks pretty fantastic in the art as is and then of course we have boise skin which i think looks fantastic and that one's going to be live 2d there's going to be a whole just whole plethora of really really cute and fun bunny designs North Carolina, Washington accepted, but fingers crossed that we we haven't seen the last of the bunnies. And then the Chinese server anniversaries, they show the evening gown skins, which are all pretty, pretty glorious there. I, I really, really liked Formidables. I thought Hermione's was really nice as well. Uh, and then they revealed a separate batch of skins on the 10th, which I don't know if they're Oath skins, but the one silhouette we saw looked like Belfast to me which obviously doesn't make sense because Belfast already has an Oath skin. So maybe they aren't Oath skins, or maybe that silhouette isn't Belfast. I don't really know. Um, but but either way, uh, there were some three more skins that were revealed for, I believe it was Ark Royal and Azuma, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Uh, and then that silhouetted figure. Oh, this is really neat. They're adding, like, a slash, their slash effect to actually get rid of, or to deal with the... Uh, Oh, that's so cool. To get rid of some of the bullet hell? Huh. I mean, that that adds another interesting element. You're not just dodging at that point. I don't know how the system is going to be implemented, if it's going to be implemented into existing ships um, just natively, or if it's going to be added to a weapon, uh, or I don't know. Okay, are they going to close things out with some, some beautiful art, maybe? Oh, I guess more than beautiful art, that's gonna actually going to be a new song. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Egoist single. Uh, so it's going to be a new song that drops on the 2nd of June. Looks like there's going to be some sort of a collaboration going on here. As usual, collaborations are always a little bit hit or miss as to whether or not they will make it over to the English server. But uh, we do know that they try their best. I mean, to the extent that they're able to bring them over, either either rebranded or debranded or as is, they they, they try to. So uh, whatever whatever this is, unless it's an in-person kind of physical collaboration, which is also possible, uh, looks like that's going to be some dorm furniture. Yeah, so uh, maybe we'll get this too. I don't know. Pretty cute, like the polar bear. Oh, and there are some collaboration skins. So, oh, and there are some collaboration skins. So there's Saratoga with some Me Officers as well as the Big Polar Bear. Again, a brand that I am not, I, I don't know what that is. I associate polar bears with like Coca-Cola. So <laughs> pretty sure it's not a Coca-Cola collab. Okay, they're gonna bust out a unicorn skin as well for the collab. Oh, I like how they're, they're draping a blanket over her to keep her warm while she's reading. Manju and the polar bear together. Okay, more collabs. Azure Lane Cross Peak. Okay, okay, got some merch, some t-shirts featuring Tashkent as well as Cheshire there. And more merch. So a fourth uh, anniversary Azure Lane. I don't know if that's a, is that a pin? It could be a pin. Or it could just be suggestive of like a collector's box like we've seen in, in past years. I'm not entirely sure. I wonder if they are going to do a, uh, a collector's box again. I feel like they probably should. Maybe just amp up the production a bit because um, they sold out wicked fast uh, last time on the English server, the ones that were available from the Yostar store. Um, I mean, I recognize all of these skins. So that's Belfast, Formidable, and um, and Graf Zeppelin. And I'm wondering if, are these going to be acrylic stands? That's always a possibility. Uh, it could be that like actual figures which would be more exciting. I know a Graf Zeppelin figure was technically announced way back, but we haven't seen any developments on it. Uh, there's going to be an offline event. More collabs. <laughs> Azure Lane cross bop. Uh, oh, these are cute. What are these? Uh, collaboration. I can't, I can't tell what those are. They could be anything from, like, bandages to bookmarks. I, I really just can't tell. There is going to be a web event. 
so I guess I don't know if it's going to be overall for participating or it looks like you need 100 wins to get the gold bull in. Uh, 50 wins nets you some pretty decent stuff. No cubes anywhere here, but lots of oil, which is always appreciated. So I guess that's tied to the web event, winning a certain number of times, whatever that might be on the website. Yeah, so happy anniversary on the 2nd of June. Which, again, uh, this, the skins, the anniversary skins drop, so this, I guess the celebration might start on the 3rd. But, uh, but yeah, it's great. We're going to get <laughs> a little uh, closer with the anime. I wonder if there are going to be any, there's going to be any anime news. Oh! Rishal you Oh, there's Toshkent! <laughs> oh, there's Saratoga. Alright, well, I think that is how they are going to close things out for today, and that's how we're probably going to close things out for today as well. Lots to look forward to. I, hopefully we get a bunch of fun residuals from the anniversary for the Chinese server. And uh, the upcoming event looks really great. Uh, brand, uh, exciting to get a new UR. I mean... And New Jersey looks pretty fantastic, especially in her skin and her default outfit. So I am, uh, I'm definitely ready to ready to burn some cubes for her. So uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you're most excited about from the anniversary reveals, the quality of life updates, the skins, collabs, whatever was here that was shown, uh, what you're most looking forward to. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, uh, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, and leaving a like on the video if you did. Um, thank you so, so much for watching and for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really, really do appreciate it. Certainly hoping you are all staying safe, healthy, secure, and united out there, and wishing the very, very best for you, your family, and your friends. And until next time, let's protect those waters.